Welcome back guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm just starting off here on our red light green light build. I honestly really like this, I think it turned out amazing. And we have this giant island that we still have to work with. So in the last episode we built the honeycomb game and off camera I added these tunnels here, I added the floor, the walls. But guys, today we are going to be building the tug of war game, probably one of the biggest rooms aside from the um last bridge game but yeah i know i said in the last episode that we're gonna build a player room today but you know i thought that was kind of boring you know so i thought we're gonna build a third game now just a kind of quick overview of what we have to do here we have to build the the waiting room this giant white waiting room and then obviously it comes out here this giant platform here you know goes off the sides elevator goes up and yeah so i think this will be pretty simple it you know it uses very it only uses like two colors really so yeah this should be pretty easy all right so i'm trying to decide what block i want to use for this room obviously we have to fill this all all the walls with this very like dark block and you know i'm deciding between uh gray concrete black concrete and deep slate so the thing with black concrete it's very black i mean it's just solid black um i don't know if we want to use that black of a color. We do have to keep in mind that this room will be dark. You know, I do have night vision on, so it looks bright. But, you know, if we remove the night vision, it might be very dark, actually. And then we have the deep slate tiles, which is kind of in between. It's not too light, not too dark, but I do not know about the texture. It's kind of textury. So, you know what? I think we're going to use the gray concrete because, once again, this room will be super dark. It'll only have like a few lights, so it, it will be darker than it looks. Alright guys, as you can see, we filled the entire room in gray. It's kind of disorienting actually, like, sometimes I'm like, oh my god, where am I? But yeah, as you can see, I set up a tiny test platform here with some, uh, soul lanterns. I think I'm gonna use the soul lanterns, because in the show, the lighting is kind of blue. So I think these will work pretty well. But yeah, moment of truth, let's just see how dark this room can get. I do have night vision and we're gonna drink some milk and let's just see. Okay, yeah, this is definitely very dark. I, yeah, yeah, the gray concrete I think was a good choice. Imagine if we use black concrete, guys. Oh my god, I would be this, I, I don't even know. This whole thing would just be completely black. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to see anything. All right, so now that we know that the the room color is good, we're, let's just start building the stuff, like the platforms. All right, so first let's build the door here. So it, it looks like it's this kind of metal sliding door uh we're gonna try using shulker boxes i don't know all right i don't know i i think we're just gonna have the shulker boxes for now until i can think of a better block to use all right so now we gotta build a platform here this is where the contestants you know they sit down they wait for their turn so the stone okay i don't know about the stone i the texture is good but it's a bit too light all right so i think the gray concrete or not the, the cyan terracotta i was way off there but the cyan terracotta works well it's not as dark as the walls but it's also not, not as light as the stone so I think this works out pretty well. Alright, so there we go. I think this initial platform is done, you know? Now that I look at it, I think this room is a tiny bit too narrow. I think we might have to uh, dig out more this way. But we won't worry about that for now. I think we'll just build this, and if we do need more space, we will do that. Alright, so now we need the walkways that extend off to the side that lead to the elevators. Now, here's the annoying part. I have to make this symmetrical on either side, which means I have to count the blocks and, you know, I don't, I don't like counting. Uh, counting kind of is kind of boring. Alright, yeah, we definitely need to make this room 
tad bit bigger because we're we already hitting the edge here. All right, guys. So we have expanded this room quite a bit. I mean, look how look how much we expand this room. This should give us enough space now. Actually, we built the platforms that go out, and you know now these will just come in come in this way. And I think that much is good. And then we have the giant thing that comes up, and this is where they actually play. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's high enough. I think that's a good height for the platform. And you know, we do have world edits. I, I, you know, we could just move it pretty easily, you know, so let's just, let's just roll with it. All right, how's that? I think, I think that's pretty good, honestly. All right, how's that? I made the platform just a tiny bit bigger. Uh, you know what? Let, let's just do this. Okay, let's just let's just finish building the rest. Yeah, I'll probably just time lapse this whole thing because you know this this room is kind of simple. So let's begin. Alright guys, are, are you ready to see this? I think we are pretty much finished. I am so excited about this guys, look at this guys, oh my god. It is, this, this building, this build is just epic, I can't even speak properly. Um, yeah, this place is just so cool. Um, we're about like 90, 98% done I would say, there's still maybe a few details we can include, but yeah, we pretty much got everything. Look at these giant support beams. You now we got the platform here. Um, yeah, the elevator, it's its kind of questionable. You know, honeycomb blocks were the best block I could find. Um, Minecraft doesn't really have a suitable block for, for it, but... You know, I, I think honeycomb block is fine. Now let's, it looks fine from afar at least. But yeah, so the elevator, you come out. You know, you grab onto the, the rope and you play tug of war and you got the blade that comes down and you fall down, fall to your death and yeah, of course we had to <laughs> we have to add some gore. Um, yeah, so this doorway here, this will connect to like the guard tunnels. You know, this is where they come out with their you know, their their trots and their coffins, pick up the dead bodies, so that's that's that. But yeah, the only thing I would say is bugging me about this is the room is too dark you know in this show it's a lot brighter than this but right now it the room is just it's just way too dark <laughs> um, we can't really see anything so you know I try to make it brighter try using like light blots and stuff but it, it, it doesn't work that well so yeah I don't know how I can make this brighter but you know what that's not too big of a deal I think it's fine so let me just let's just back up here and and have a nice look at this. this. This is pretty nice. Let's make my FOV. There we go. Look at this. This place is just massive, man. Yeah, I, I love this. This is amazing. All right. So as for the waiting room, you have this giant white wait waiting room here. Right now, it looks nothing like it. But yeah, I, I think we'll leave this for another time. I don't think we'll get to this today because I, I kind of don't want to build this. I spent so long on this. Um, yeah, you know, honestly, I'll probably build a waiting room like off camera, just because you know it's it's like a, it's just a white room. It's nothing too interesting or special. I'll probably build it. Just off camera, just on my own time. But yeah, just know this is the waiting room, and yeah, I think this is really, 
epic. I think we did a really nice job here. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. And I think I'll end it here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. It's really dark, you can't see me, but goodbye.